Something you may not expect is having a huge effect on the price of food that we buy. Russia's war on Ukraine. Russia and Ukraine combined produce half the world's wheat and corn. Daniel Hamburg joins us now. Daniel. Alicia and Valerie, this can lead to food shortages in other parts of the world and here in the U.S. can mean higher prices for simple goods like bread. The war in Ukraine has led to the highest levels ever for food commodities like grains and vegetable oils. Russia's invasion disrupted the flow of food for millions of people around the world and caused prices to spike. That's because Russia and Ukraine together account for around 30 and 20 percent respectively of global wheat and corn exports. The food price index has increased to 159.3 points which is an increase of 17.9 points with respect to February. This is the highest historical level of the food price index since 1990 when it was first launched. The chief economist of the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization says that impacts the supply and prices of cereals and sunflower oil. Outside of the prices of food, the prices of fertilizers has been going substantially up. And why is this so important? It's because it will affect the production of the next season. And that's what we are really concerned. The cost of fertilizers has increased by almost 30 percent. That impacts farmers in the U.S. who are growing wheat. A lot of farmers reporting increase in, in their cost of production, which will translate to, to consumers also, ultimately to consumers. Meaning potentially higher costs in the bread aisle. To address the needs of food importing countries, the FAO was developing a proposal to alleviate the import costs for the poorest countries, which would have eligible countries commit to added investments in their own agricultural productivity to obtain import credits to help soften the blow. In the studio, Daniel Hamburg, ABC 27 News.